This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the connecting rod, or rods. Um, here is the stock one, obviously, and um, you can see by how it's weaker in comparison to the arc rod. This is actually the um, uh, 5 thousandths under version. Um, but see how where the bolt or the bolt little pocket thing goes. This this one where the bolt goes is actually incorporated into the profile, and it's much more beefier around where the crankshaft journal is, as well as this the arc one has got an oil hole there, there, and there, as where there only oil valleys are right there, and there, and there, and right there on the stock rod. Now the stock rod, I recall, is good to about 5,000 RPM and the arc rod, this is actually an older rod but it's still good, um, I think the I think arc ones are generally good for about 8,000 RPM, maybe 7,500, somewhere around there, anyways. Um, yeah, now this is actually, this is not actually a Raptor rod, this is actually, um, standard straight uh, Bridge and Stratton cast 13 5 horsepower rod. Not anything special, that's just steel. This one is built aluminum. This is the um, uh, 6328 model made on the 21st of January 2005 and, and the stock length is I'm a 3.875 and this is 3.870. This is 5,000s under, but however, in the grand scheme of things, 5,000s is really just about a little tad more than just a tenth of a millimeter. And in all sincerity, a millimeter is probably about the thickness of the little wire there on the end of the spark plug. So really, it's not going to matter that much. If anything, if anything, could it could make my engine a little have more torque because it'll be sucking in more fuel. Anyways, yeah, so that's side by side comparison to the rods. And um yeah. See ya.